reflecting back on the season. What do you think? What are the Chargers? Are they the team that went to the playoffs, knocked off Lamar Jackson? And then it will end it. Or are they the team that struggled this season? Time to turn this around. We built that grit. Don't let any outside people try to mess up what we got going on. I knew my day would come around this time. Just had to cleanse my soul and free my mind. The Chargers absolutely could bounce back in 2020. Chris Harris going to sign with the Los Angeles Chargers. Trey Turner to the LA Chargers. Six pick, the Los Angeles Chargers select. So fired up and, and so excited for this opportunity. Who gonna stop us now? Hey, I'm all in, I'm all in. I ain't worried about a loss or a new friend. Never worried about a fraud or a new bitch. Lost love, I ain't worried about a frost. Hey, I'm all in, I'm all in. I ain't worried about a loss or a new friend. Never worried about a fraud or a new bitch. Lost love, I ain't worried about a frost. Tell the truth. Yes, sir. Okay, this is what I'm gonna tell you. We're not the same old charges. Yes, sir. Yo, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video. Not another video. I always say another video. I don't know why I always love my videos like that. Welcome back to a new series on the channel. We are starting a franchise with the Los Angeles Chargers. I think I put a little hype video in, in, in the front of this, in the intro of this video. I'm not sure. I should put, there should be a hype video there. If there isn't, it's a little awkward. But if it's not, I mean, if it is, let me know if you did enjoy that. Um, but yeah, we're, we're, we're going to get the series underway. I'm very excited to start the series off. We got to introduce the teams. So... Rookie quarterback, uh, six pick overall, Justin Herbert. This is what we're working with. He is the person we're gonna build up. He has hidden dev, which I'm I'm guessing is probably like star or something. I don't think he has like super. I would doubt. May, maybe he might. Well, depending on the season he has, I think. Um, nah, it's just, I don't think about like that. But yeah, I think he has really good stats. Really good throw power for a rookie, and his um accuracy. Deep, medium, short, are really decent. Throwing the run is decent. And throwing the pressure is decent. He could, like, everything here is decent, honestly. He has decent speed at 82, 87 acceleration, 80 agility. And everything else, it's, eh, you know? Even a 72 juke move, which is crazy. So he's kind of fast with the ball, which is interesting for him at running back we have austin eckler and justin jackson i kind of want to get justin jackson some some minutes some minutes some like more key snaps i want him to be the running back we build after he is 24 this is his second year in the league um yeah he's not as fast as you want your running back to be but i think he's fast enough and we could build him up to be that running back Austin eckler in my opinion is more of a Power back, and I think I, I think they'll split carries. Honestly, I think they will. I just say he's a power back, but I, I I think he's really built like one. Honestly, Keenan Allen is a player I necessarily do not want, but I think I'm gonna keep him. Either for like if, if I don't trade him by the the uh, trade deadline this season, I'm gonna trade him during the draft or next year. I think he has a year on his contract. I'm not too sure about that. Okay, I know how to play the game, Madden. Um, he's 28. You do start regressing around your 30s. So, if so, we could keep him for two years. Or we could trade him now for something considerable. Um, he's a really decent player. Uh, I, I know he's really good in real life, but not 
I don't think he's really good, but I think he's like really decent. He has a uh, max security, which is you know, it's it's good. I'm just not a big fan of Keenan Allen. And I feel like we have some players we can build up. Like, a lot of these players are young, and they're obviously not going to be that great, but we still could build them up. Uh, Hunter Henry is uh, another one who we're going... We're, we're going to get, like, in terms of contracts, we're going to settle the, those stuffs out. Hunter Henry is a tight end I really want to build up. I want him to be one of the best tight ends in the league in terms of overall and in terms of skill value. We do have an injury on the side. Derwin James is injured. So, what I'm going to do, I'm probably going to start Nasir Adderley at strong safety. So, I think I can do that now. I'm going to start him at strong safety and until Derwin, Derwin James comes back. Derwin James is out for, I think when I checked, it said 20 something weeks. So yeah, that, that's a while, but, you know, we'll deal with it. Our linebacking core is not that great, but we do have a rookie on our team who can possibly come and change all that. Kenneth Murray Jr. Um, you know, we'll, we'll make work with what we have. And hopefully... Hopefully this is good, a, a good enough team to build around, man. Um, the defense is a strong suit. Uh, you see we have Chris Harris Jr. We have Desmond King, Casey Hayward, Joey Bosa, Jerry Tillery, Linval Joseph, Melvin Ingram. It's just a linebacking core I think is not so great. And our safeties aren't that great. But once again, we can build up these safeties. We have this Sir Adley who I want to get playing time. Since Derwin James is out, he will get a bunch more playing time now. And, you know, Rayshon Jenkins, who, he can build up also. Like, he he struggles in the zone, as you can see, as a 67 rating. And man coverage is poor. It's kind of like, what do you do? He's obviously around stopping on um, safety. So, maybe we'll play him a lot in the box, and I don't know. Well... We'll figure that out when we get to that point. Uh, I think we just went over the whole team, so we're going to skip preseason. I, I don't have anything to do. Chris Harris wants to talk to us. I believe that's Chris Harris. He just explained to me what dev traits were and do. Um, for sure, dude. For fucking sure. So we're similar to regular season. I don't even know why that was a thing, but it was. So, you know, it is what it is. We are here to set our season goal. Um, Let me see how many downs uh, Justin Herbert played. He has a, a skill upgrade or a skill point. I said a skill upgrade. He played 98 downs in that. Not not bad, not bad. Um, Is there anybody else that had a head in down? I believe... Uh, Kenneth Murray did. And he played 215 down, so he's going to unlock that fairly quickly. So he's like, he is a starting linebacker on our team. Uh, we are going to play the first game in this... First game in this week? Yeah. I don't know why that sounded so wrong. Not wrong in that way, but... Um, what can we win? So, if we're looking at our schedule, right? We had the Bengals, Chiefs... We don't really have a tough, tough schedule, but it's not a necessarily easy schedule either. I believe we could win a lot of games. I'm going to go for seven wins because the division we're in, I don't know if we necessarily could, like, make the playoffs. Like, I think we could get a wild card, definitely, but I'm going to go for seven. I'm going to stay safe with seven because you really do look at the division we're in. You have the Raiders, Broncos, us, obviously, and the Chiefs. Chiefs are favorite to win this division, but Broncos are not a really bad team either. And Raiders are, like, kind of on our level. So it's like Chiefs have a shoe-in for it because the team is just so great. You have Patrick Mahomes and you have these really, really talented people on that team. Then you have the 
Broncos, too, who are, once again, that, that defense is tough. That team is talented, too. And the Raiders are just like, they're, they're with us who we don't know. At least yet, we, we just don't know. Um, but we are going to get to upgrades in this one. I think we're only going to upgrade the starters. Because I don't really don't care about Like, these little overalls are not going to really do anything. So, Linval Joseph, we'll see what... We'll see what we can upgrade for you. What you need. I guess your power move could be upgraded. It's only 77. And we'll see what that upgrade. It doesn't do anything to his overall, but we do get two plus power move. And I like that. That's very good. Trey Turner. Uh, What do you actually need? I'll say pass block. Yeah, you need pass blocking. That actually increases his upgrade and gives him plus two to pass block, plus, plus one to pass block finesse. I'd be stuttering my words a lot. Rayshon Jenkins. You just suck in zone cut. Well, you suck all over. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I didn't mean to sound like that. But, uh, yeah. We're going to just do a hybrid so you can kind of get everywhere. Plus two to zone coverage. Plus two to play. Plus one to play wreck. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, Nasir Adderley. I really liked him coming out the dra draft a little bit. That didn't make sense. I really liked him a little bit. Okay. Um, you're fast. You could kind of cover zone. Yeah. You're, you're fast and you could kind of cover zone. But we're going to want to go with the scheme fit. Because if you get the scheme fit, that gives you more XP in practice. Plus three to awareness and plus one to man coverage. The thing I don't like about Madden, it's just like... Awareness is the only thing that does anything. Why is Desmond King all the way down here? Uh, what do you need? I guess man. Man would be good for you. Doesn't really do anything to the overall. But you get plus one man coverage. I, that, that, that's what I, I like when I need something and they give it to me. Justin Herbert, probably going to be a last upgrade for now. I'm probably just let the CPU do everything else. I think we need uh, our passing accuracy. That would be key. Because our passing accuracy is not that bad, but we're going to need to hit those throws. So we're going to go into, I want to keep it strong on, but we're going to go into field general. And we get... Two to deep and one to mid. Not bad, but once again, always could be better. Always could be better. This is going to be a big week as I think we're facing Broncos, are we? No, we're facing Bengals. So we are going to face Joe Burrow in our first game. This is huge. This is huge. Um, I think that's all I want to do before the game. This might have been a long intro, but I think it was needed. That's just what I think. Um, they don't have no X Factors or Superstars? They don't have any X Factors. They have two Superstars. Joe Mixon and Geno Atkins. So, um, I feel like I had something to say, but I kind of don't, so. You know, we're just going to get into this game. I like these intros, though. I ain't going to lie. They look kind of nice. Joe Burrow, AJ Green. That's our team. Oh, that was not the Bengals. And I said, that's our team. Was it? I don't know. I don't even know what I was looking at, really. So, it is a season opener, but we are not home. We start off on the road. I'm a little... I was going to say I was a little angry about that, but I'm not really angry. With that. Let me not lie. We do receive ball first when we don't. Okay. <laughs> uh, what am I talking about? I started this series on all pro because I don't necessarily want to. I know how all Madden is, and I'm not 
willing to face that. It's just not something I really want to face. So I'll do it on all pro and I'll adjust gameplay sliders like afterwards. Like within the coming weeks or however long the series might be. Fuck. Is he taking off? How did I miss him? I feel like it was good defense, but they just got it. Wow, I thought that was a uh, defender, honestly. I don't know why I thought that was a defender. And my laptop almost died in the middle of recording. That would have been catastrophic. It goes short. Don't really get much yards on that one. It's third and eight. I don't think they moved. I'm gonna be over here. Let's hope they don't get anything. And they do. Who was on that flat? Well, I guess it wasn't really a flat, but damn, they're really they're really getting on this drive, and we're not really here to stop anything. That's a little, dude, this is a little scary for us right now, honestly. This definitely could end up bad for us, and it does. They ran right to the outside, which, which is very smart. They got that? Okay, okay. That was a very long drive from them. I, I feel like our defense showed some promise on that, but... You know, it, it, it was nothing, nothing to be mad at, I would say. I would really say nothing to be mad at. Um, a, a couple third down conversions I didn't, I didn't like that we gave up. But, you know, with due time, we, we okay, <laughs> what, what was I trying to say? With due time, we will become better. I promise that. Let's see how this goes. Good open receiver right there. Getting out of bounds. Good stuff. Good 20 yard throw. I think we're gonna need a blocker on this. Good. I think that was KJ Reed. I said KJ Reed. Okay. I think we can really get this one. And we do. There we go. We're 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 gaining. We're, we're really, I like our passing game right now. We're making stuff happen. There we go. Getting some daylight. Austin Eckler. That's an intro. As soon as it left my hand, I knew. That's not the way you want to solve the season. First drive interception. Uh. And a big run. I think if we're going to be successful on this drive, we're going to need to get stops. Wow, I left him. I felt like I had to, though. And he gets that. Who's on that outside? It's like you didn't want to be there. He's in the open field. And he's going to run. Oh, come on. That is literally in you. He literally threw it to you. He said, here, I don't want the ball anymore. And you said, hey, me either. Get there, get there. Good, 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 good. They're down. Let's not give up anything big. Like, this is a... They need 19 yards to convert on here. 
We cannot give up anything big, bro. There we go. Let him have that. Let him have that. Good. Good stop. Good stop. It's just not that well either. Ah! I feel like that ball just stood in the air for too long. I don't know exactly how we're going to get our yards right here, but we're going to try. There we go. Ah, hold that block a little bit longer, and we, we, we got big yards. Even though that was still big yards, but we got bigger yards. You know, I'm, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to get this running game going so we just don't seem one-dimensional. There we go. There we go. That's all we, we need to implement, implement the run game. I don't think they'll be expecting me. And they're not. Keenan Allen. This could be a touchdown. Nope. But still. Big yards. The defense doesn't really budge here. Just moving around a couple people. And that's a touchdown? Didn't really seem like a touchdown, but we will take it. We do redeem ourselves for that interception in the red zone. Was it really the red zone we got there last time? Oh, he did. He did reach. I like that. I like that. That was a nice little animation, though. Cool little animation. Um, yeah, we did kind of redeem ourselves for the uh, interception. And we did end up getting a stop, so... Let's see if we could do that on this drive here. There you go, five wide. A grown man, grown man formation. Oh, who was that? Chris Harris Jr. with the interception. I thought it was gonna be me with the interception when I was uh, covering. Um, I don't know who I was using, but I thought I was gonna get an interception on that one. Wow, Chris Harris Jr. with the interception. I like it. I like it. I like it. Utilizing those blocks and that speed out the uh, backfield. I'm gonna go with a screen pass. I don't know how useful this will be. But... Kind of worked. Kind of worked. And one of their uh, linemen are injured. I believe that's one. Maybe once. I don't even think we've seen him today. We could pick up that first down. There we go. Touch down. I believe that was Keenan, was it? Yes, it was. Definitely was Keenan. That puts us up 14 to 0. Well, not 0. 14 to 7, pending this extra point, and we do get it to go right down the middle. We are having. A really easy time offensively, and even defensively, we're coming together. As we got two back-to-back -back stops with an intro on that last uh, defensive drive. Can so I'm going to say, can someone tackle him? There we go, Melvin Ingram with the sack. Now they're switching their play. They might see something they like. And they do. Can we get over there? It's a good tackle. Two minute warning. He just got beat off the line. And they knew they had it. They went right to him like immediately. Did not waste no time with that one. And he still catches it. AJ Green I believe with the catch. Joe, Joe Burrow is stringing um, some throws today. I believe he's missed like one throw. If I'm not mistakenly seeing that. And... I think we stopped him. Yeah, we stopped him. Somebody get to him. There we go. Big sacks. 
And now let's sit in cover too and wait for them to do something stupid. Come on, here we go. And they're most, they're, they're gonna get three here. And they're probably just gonna run the clock down. We do get ball at half, so I think we did manage as well. Not giving up a touchdown. And they do. That's gonna put the lead, or put the score 14 to 10. I think we're both stringing along some good, the, both these rookie quarterbacks are stringing along some good drives. We both did throw an into. And that's all right. It's all right. Ah, I, I wasn't sure how to catch that ball. I didn't even press that. I pr whoa. Okay, that was so weird. I swear to you, I did not press that. What a hit! Oh my god! Whoa! He knocked his fucking head off! Oh my god! We need a replay on that! What a clean hit, too. Yeah, that's a fumble. Holy shit. Are our special teams this good? He should have just fair caught it, honestly. Now we're up 21 to 10. What a fucking hit. That's some good blocks. Some really good blocks. I try to go for another head stick. We're getting torn up, man. I don't really know what to run. Wide open over the middle. It was just nobody there. What were we doing on that drive? I understand we had a good, uh, like, fumble recovery. Or mishaps, if you will, but... What was that about, y'all? Yeah? And they hold on for two. That puts it 21-18, and they're right back in this game. They were never really out of it, but they put it right back to a three-point game. Ah, oh, that's just a bad throw, man. I really felt like you had that one. Bad throws, man. What's going on, Joe Burrow, now? You had a clean pocket, bro. You really had a clean pocket. Come on, y'all. Come on. We got to wrap up in the back row. Oh my god, again. He dropped it somehow. I don't know how he dropped it. He was so open. Third down. I feel like we need to stop right here. And I think he got that. I really do. Fuck, man. We're like right there. To stopping them and then we just give up some dumb shit every time and he's off and he's not fumbling that oh my god man someone get him Come on, he, he's just running around now. I'm over in the second sack of the game. Bro, 
give up everything underneath. Everything underneath, just give it to them. What a fucking wrap up. Well, not a real wrap up. Past deflection, actually. Not even past deflection, past breakup. This is kind of a long field goal. I, it seems like. What well, they have the leg power to kick this? It's kind of a big field goal for them, and I don't think they do. Nope, they don't. Interesting. There we go. Mike Williams. Ah! Got to go for a field goal here. 51 yarder. I believe we could hit this. No, we can't. This is way off. Cause I just fucked that uh, release up. Golly, man. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good wrap up. What do they do here? I, I say believe in your defense. I, I would definitely believe in my defense here. Defense has been playing really well for you. What a catch. Good way to lead him upfield and pick up some big yards. Go pick, picking up some big yards. Now we're stringing. Now we're stringing. I like it. Cause it's so hard to score from right here, man. It's so difficult. Oh, what a what a move! Keenan Allen. Can we get a replay on that? Cause they clearly are not giving us it. Out of all things, the replay. You don't want to replay that. Look at the catch. Beautiful catch. And then he... What a tight spin! Man, he just brushes him off. Oh my god, that was such a good move, bro. Good move. Uh, I think we could run here. I would like a run. And they're not really changing up their defense. They might still be blitzing. Not at all. And we got the first down, but we don't get a touch. And we get basically a walk-in touchdown. That's going to put us up big here. 27 to 18. And you're taking stuff underneath. You're going to have to take some deep shots sooner or later, I, I, I would guess. Brings up second and three at the 43 yard line. What was that? Did he die? Did he injure himself? Okay. Every time, every time. I just want to take his head off. We'll take that. We was right on him. I really believe once that passion read completely because his cross body, and two, we was right there. And this is a two minute warning. So you wasted so much time just to get here. And they're trying to flip the plates or something. We don't know what they're doing. Here. Good pass breakup. Third and inches. Are they really going for? They can't really be going for this. I guess you just need your points, but is this even smart? I guess you're down by a touchdown, or less than a touchdown technically, and you're believing in your defense. This is an interesting call. 
I'm talking about interesting calls. Me taking it out the end zone. I'm really gonna do it. See what they do. Nobody really on Keenan Allen. And he has a fucking yard. That's kind of game over. As long as we don't fumble the ball, don't throw it into, and I'm just gonna run. The, I'm, I'm running the ball. I think I want to streak Hunter Henry. I said Henry. Hunter Henry. <laughs> and see what we can get over the middle. Not much is open, but that is a first down, and that is game over. Not a bad game by Justin Herbert. Not gonna lie, not not really a bad game. And what do you know? We do score. Wasn't really looking to score, but that is his third rushing touchdown of the day. And they want us to go for two for some reason. Whatever, coach. And we do get it. We do. Maybe a change of playbook will help. Through for 300s today, but a lot of them were just dumpage yards, in my opinion, from what I've seen. And they're gonna get that, get out of bounds. They're playing it kind of smart, but you needed this a little bit earlier. When you had the ball in the last four to three minutes of the game. That's when you needed this. Right now is not really the time, honestly speaking. Interception. Not really going to be able to take this back, but... We'll just knee it and we'll get out of here. So we are going to check stats at the end of this one. Joe Burrow threw for 314 yards, one touchdown and two interceptions. Justin Herbert threw for 264, one touchdown and one interception. They both had very comparable games in terms of even the yardage, even though it was, you know, he had more yards, obviously. But still, he, he, even with the completions, they were very, very similar. Even, I was going to say play stuff, but not really. Let me stop talking. Um, also, Eckler, Russell Bowl for 22 times, got 81 yards and three touchdowns. A really huge game for him. I just wish, uh, what's his name? Justin Jackson was sort of ball a l more. I would say a little bit more, but he didn't even see it at all. Keenan Allen had five catches for 120 yards. Joe Reed, the rookie, caught the ball six times for 103 yards. Keenan Allen has a touchdown. Uh, CJ Osuma. Uh, 79 yards, AJ Green, 73, Joe Mixon, 69, blah, blah, blah. And as you see, for even receptions, Joe Mixon, a running back, caught the ball nine times. <laughs> CJ Suma, tight end, caught the ball eight times. I, like, I don't get that. Why are you throwing the ball to your running back so much? I get he's open, but that that's that's whatever. Uh, Tigers for loss, Carl Lawson, Cameron Wake, and Geno Atkins all... Got some. Do we get any? Chris Harris got one. Drew Tranquil got one. That's about it. Do we get any sacks? Uh, yeah, Melvin Ingram had a really good game for that. Uh, two inter. We'll say two interceptions. Two sacks. Uh, Kenneth Murray had a sack. Um, interceptions. We had. I think we had a big game for interception. Chris Harris and Kenneth Murray. And did we return one? No, no. no. Well, we did get a forced fumble by Brandon. Faceon? That's that sure is a name. For sure. Um let's get out of here. <laughs> Actually, let me find my thumbnail actually before I do get out of here. So we do walk away week one with a victory over the Bengals and a very good debut game for Joe Burrow. Very good game for Keenan Allen, very good game for Austin Eckler. Very good game for our defense, even though at times we did look 
struggle some, but we do see the strong points on defense where we could excel. So we're going to advance to next week and a big week against the defending Super Bowl champs, the Chiefs. This is going to be a huge, 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 huge uh, one divisional matchup and two home opener and three. This is going to test how good we really are. I don't really expect to win this game, but we'll see if we do in next episode. If you did enjoy, leave a like, subscribe if you are new, subscribe if you enjoyed. Just subscribe in general. <laughs> like, really. Just, you know, subscribe. Um, and if you don't enjoy my content, then you can unsubscribe. I understand if you don't enjoy it. But that's going to do it for us. I will see you in the next episode. But until next episode. Peace. <laughs> My bitch, you ratchet like strawberry deck Cause I move like it's dirty, sub so batteries in the back And you trap money, my foundation, that's what's back And you don't got a pack, but I be with a trap Just be 